Hey, what's going on, guys? Schwarzenegger Magic here. Right now, I'm revealing my last card trick, uh, which I called Complete Shock. Uh, now, if you guys haven't seen that, uh, what I want you to do is click the link on the cards here uh, and just check that out. Check out the performance uh, just so you get an idea of what it looks like, uh, how it's performed, uh, and that'll help you out with the tutorial so you know what I'm talking about. All right, so if you haven't seen it or you want a refresher uh, on what it looks like, click the link on the screen or in the description right now. All right, so let's uh, learn about this. It's very simple. Uh, this can be performed impromptu if you'd like, uh, but personally, uh, I like to perform it just pulling out a packet of cards and, and beginning the trick. Uh, what you're going to need is a 17-card setup. This isn't a very difficult setup. It's not hard to remember. Uh, let, let me get into it. I'm going to put one card off to the side for now. This is just going to make it easier to remember the setup. All right, here's what you're going to need to do. You're going to need uh, 16 cards right now. You're going to take out two black cards, uh, then two red cards, then two black cards, two red cards, two black cards, two red cards, two black cards, and then two red cards. Uh, let me put this in easier terms. You're going to get four pairs of uh, red cards, alright, so one, two, three, four pairs of red cards, uh, and four pairs of black cards, alright, and you're going to make sure you always start uh, with the black cards, or the black pair, uh, on top, alright? Uh, so once again, black cards on top. Uh, once you've done that, you're going to go into the rest of your pack here and pull out uh, any red card. All right, so I'm just going to pull out a ton of hearts and pop that on top. Uh, let's recap on this setup. So right now you should have 17 cards out. Uh, the top card is going to, you're going to have one red card. And then you're going to start the whole uh, black, red, black, red, black, red, all the way through. All right. Uh, double check. Make sure you only have 17 cards. Once you've, you know, you're, you've done that, you're ready to go, you're ready to begin. All right. What you're going to do is uh, begin by showing the spectator that the cards are going red, black, red, black. But as we know, they're not going red, black, red, black. So we're going to do a little move. What you do is you simply just take off the top two cards. You show the, show the spectator what they look like. Uh, and because of our setup, they'll always look like they're going red, black, red, black. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to do this until you have three cards left, and uh, you're going to stop uh, when you get there, all right? So right now I have three cards left. You can do one of two things. So what I recommend doing is just saying, all right, you guys get the idea, and you just place these three cards on top, just casually. Uh, you could do that, or what you could do is don't show you have three cards. Pretend it's two cards. Uh, you push over the top card, and you block this together. All right, uh, and when you show it, they'll see a red and a black. All right, just like that, and you can pop it on top. Whichever one you'd like. Now, uh, personally, you probably struggle. You might struggle with that uh, other method of blocking a card. So just casually put it on top. All right. Once you've done that, turn the packet face up. You're going to take out the first two cards. All right, it should be a red and black card. If it for some reason isn't, uh, just double check. Make sure you set up your cards correctly. All right. Uh, you're going to take out a red and black card. And at this point, you turn the packet back down, and you're going to take off the top two cards. Uh, and this is going to be an example, all right, uh, this first one. You're going to ask the spectator, you're going to start with the black cards here. You're going to say, all right, which one do you think is black? They're going to guess. If they guess the bottom one, they would be wrong. If they guess the top one, uh, they would be right. All right, whichever one is the correct answer, you're going to just place that right uh, onto the uh, black card. With the extra cards, the excess cards go on the bottom of the packet here, uh, and that's pretty much how it's going to work. Just explain that to the spectator so they know and there's no surprises, all right? Uh, now, we're going to do it for real, all right? That was a practice. The first one's always a practice. Uh, the second one, you just flip-flop now to the red cards, all right? Uh, now, let's just, let me just show you what we have here. Really, what we have is two red cards. So right here, we have the Ace of Hearts and the Queen of Hearts. So when I ask the spectator which one is red, no matter which one they pick, let's say the bottom one, it's always going to be correct, all right? When you peel off the next two, you ask them which one's black, you flip-flop, remember to do that, all right? Uh, and you ask them which one's black, really, they're both black. And this is going to be the case uh, every time. Uh, let's say they said the top one, you put it on top, and you put the excess on the bottom. Uh, the next two, uh, you ask them which one's red, uh, and they can say any one. Which one's black, they say any one. And you're going to do this until you only ha you have four cards in each pile. So right now we have four uh, face down. We'll get one more here. Let's say they said the top. It uh, doesn't matter, remember, uh, because it'll work every time. Uh, and once you have four in each pile, all right, uh, what you're going to do is show the spectator the leftover cards and emphasize that they were all randomized red, black, red, black. This seals the deal. Guys, this is the best part of the trick. Well, 
per not really, because when you reveal it, it's a good part. But this seals the deal and making them think that the cards were really red, black, red, black uh, in the beginning of the trick, all right? So show them these cards. Uh, you can leave them face off and just pop them on the side, all right? Uh, once you've done that, you then uh, you can have them turn it over. Uh, I recommend having them turn it over. That way they know uh, you didn't do any sneaky business, all right? And show them every card, all right? Make sure there's no gaps, all right? Uh, just like so. Uh, and then you turn over the red, uh, and you say, look, there's also uh, all red over here. All right, so this is a great trick that doesn't take any skill. No matter how good you are at manipulating cards, you'll be able to do this one, and... Um, it's absolutely great. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys would like uh, to pick up these cards, which I think are great, I personally absolutely love the aces in this pack, uh, mainly because of this little design. Uh, this is the Dan and Dave Fulton Clip Joint Playing Cards. All right, fabulous deck, great box, uh, overall great playing cards. Uh, you can pick these up at the oneeyejack.com if you would like them. Uh, I have a discount code for you guys, uh, which gets you 10% off any deck. Uh, and that's it. More info in the description for the one I jack .com. Uh That's it. And as always, remember, I'll be back.